Hello dear students welcome back to Varsha Tutorials Children in the last two videos of lesson number 11 cell structure and microorganisms which we have already finished with what is cell and difference between plant cell and animal cell the link of which is given in the description below and today we are going to mainly focus on microorganisms so what are microorganisms children we find variety of organisms on this planet earth when i say organisms which includes plant as well as animals so from this variety of um, organisms there are huge organisms like elephant tiger whale etc as well as tiny organisms like bacteria viruses etc but the organisms which we cannot see through our naked eyes and to see them or to observe them we, we require microscope are called as microorganisms so if at all you asked question what is microorganisms what will be your answer well the organisms which we cannot see through our naked eyes and we require microscope to watch it or see it are called as microorganisms okay <clears throat> and where do these microorganisms occur or where are they present they are present everywhere in the food water air soil even garbage or sewage also they are present in inside our body not only our body but the body of other animals and plants too they are also present in dead organisms that is the, there are some organisms which live on dead plants and animals so they are even present in dead bodies of plants and animals so they are present everywhere and out of this microorganisms the microorganisms live singly and they are also called as solitary microorganisms solitary and examples of microorganisms living singly or in single are amoeba or euglena whereas some microorganisms live in groups or we can say colonies and microorganisms living in colonies can be examples can be fungi or also algae children bacteria is one of the smallest microorganisms and can you see tip of this needle or pen and can you guess how many bacteria it can accommodate well it can accommodate millions of bacteria on just tip of this needle so you can imagine how small is the size of microorganisms like bacteria well also depending on number of cells microorganisms can be classified as unicellular and multicellular so microorganisms depending on its number of cells they can be unicellular or multicellular Children unicellular means consisting of just single cell and multicellular means consisting of many cells. Can you give examples of unicellular or microorganisms? Yes, amoeba, euglena, paramecium, they are all unicellular microorganisms. And what about multicellular microorganisms? They are algae, fungi is also multicellular microorganisms. Okay, now let's study growth of microorganisms. Children, each microorganism requires specific condition for its growth and reproduction. Some microorganisms need oxygen for its growth and survival. Such microorganisms are called as aerobic microorganisms, while some microorganisms do not need oxygen for its growth, and such microorganisms are called as anaerobic. Some 
microorganisms can survive even in extreme conditions there are some microorganisms present in the ocean flow also there are microorganisms present in the ice in the polar region where the temperature is minus 30 degrees celsius so they can survive even in that cold temperature there are some microorganisms which survive even in hot water springs sometimes hot water springs are even boiling but still these microorganisms can survive in this hot water springs we have hot water springs at vajreshwari in maharashtra isn't it so you uh, you must have uh, seen how the water is hot in those hot water spring but still there are uh, microorganisms which can survive this extreme conditions then how do they survive in such extreme condition whether the condition is very hot or cold children when the condition is not favorable or where the when the condition is very hot or cold that time the microorganisms develop a capsule like structure around its body and stop its all life processes i hope you know what are the life processes so come on type all the life processes in the comment box yes so they stop all the life processes and uh, behave like dead organisms but actually they are not dead and when the condition are favorable they remove that covering around their body and continue with the life processes that's how this microorganism survive even in the extreme conditions clear now it's time for assignment dear students you have to complete this assignment in your notebook if at all you have any difficulty watch the video again so that's all for today dear students hope you have understood everything so see you in the next video till then keep smiling keep learning thank you so much